I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Here is a very important concept which we are going to discuss. We'll convert these sine wave equations into cosine waves and see how easily it can be done. So the question for you is to convert the following sine functions to cosine functions. We have three functions here. 3 cos x, 7 sine 0.5x minus 15 plus 3. First two are in degrees and C is 7 sine 0.52x minus 3.14 minus 3. The third equation is in radians. I like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the very basic concepts and then it will be very easy to write the converted form of the equation. Let's say 3 sin x is the equation which we are working on. So then that is your sine wave, right? I'm just making one sine wave. When I say 3, it really means that the amplitude here is 3, right? Uh, okay. And this time period, we know it is 360 degrees. But for the time being, to understand the concepts, I will write this as t. Time period is tight t which is equal to 360 degrees for this particular case but we will work with t okay now if i have to write this equation as a cosine function then what should it be well the amplitude is not going to change right so that will remain as such but cos of what that is what we have to look into so if you see cosine function actually starts from the maximum correct so if you compare, you have actually moved this function, this cosine function is t by 4 to the right. Do you see that? It has a movement of t by 4 to the right. So normally a cosine function will start from here, right? So in this case, what has happened? See, what we have here is, is 0 which is for sin x. Now, how do I correlate the sine and the cosine function? That is the question, correct? Now, since we have to write this as a cosine function, the maximum is at t by 4, right? That is to say, what we should do is we should move or rather translate the whole function by quarter of the cycle to the right, in our case, t by 4 happens to be what? In our case, 360 degrees by 4 is 90 degrees. So, it moves 90 degrees to the right. That means, what should I write here? I should write x minus 90 degrees. Does it make sense to you? So, the number 90 which I wrote here, it is important to understand that this is quarter of the cycle, right? So, so the number 90 is representing quarter of the cycle. Or you can say quarter of time period. Perfect. So, in general, the formula should be what? In general, if I have an equation which is A sine k x minus phase shift plus q and if I have to write this in cosine function form then I should get a cos k and if it x minus p I have to take away from here quarter of the cycle right correct now, if k is the time period, then what is the quarter of the cycle? Let's work it out. So, time period is 2 pi, if you are working in radians, or it all depends, right? Let's say we are working in radians, then it will be 2 pi by k, right? So, the quarter cycle for this is going to be 2 pi by I mean quarter cycle will be divided by 4k which will give, give us as 
pi by 2k correct so if i am writing this in radians it will be minus pi by 2k do you get the idea if i am writing this equation in degrees in that case the time period is going to be 360 degrees divided by k right and then quarter will be how much quarter of the cycle will be 360 degrees divided by 4k which is 90 by k is it okay so if i have to write this equation in degrees this is in radius in that case i will replace pi by 2 pi 2k by 90 by k you get the concept right so that is kind of very important to understand right okay so with this knowledge i like you to pause the video we have already done part a answer part b right so that is what you need to do so i'll divide this page into two parts we have two different equations to work with. The first one here is written as 7 sine 0.5x minus 15 degrees plus 3. Since the two equations are only related with phase shift, amplitude and the translations remain same, vertical translation. Right? The other equation here is 7 sine 0.52x minus 3.14 minus 3 okay so i like you to pause this video and write down the equivalent cosine functions for these two waves here is how i will do it the first step should always be to factor out 0 0.5 so we have 7 sine 0 0.5 means half right so when you multiply i mean divide by 0.5 is multiplying by 2 we get 30 degrees here correct okay? plus 3. now the idea is basically to find the time period right so what is the time period for this wave time period t since it is given in degrees will be 360 degrees divided by 0 0.5 which is 720 degrees so the quarter of this time period will be 720 degrees divided by 4 which is how much half is 360 and half of that is 180 degrees so basically to write this as a cosine function we'll be writing this as 7 cos 0 0.5 or half x minus 30 degrees is given to us will take away quarter of this which is 180 degrees right quarter of the time period translation vertical will remain same you get the idea right so basically we get 7 cos of you could write 0 0.5 or even half x minus and both negatives to becomes 210 degrees plus 3 you get an idea so that becomes the cosine function equivalent to the sine function given to you so part b we just done this was in degrees now part c which we are going to do now is in radians now for part c you can use the calculator okay and then solve it let's do it so we have 7 sine Let's take 0 0.52 common, right? That is the k value, x minus. Uh, we have to divide 3.14 by 0 0.52. 3.14 divided by 0 0.52 gives you, let's write in decimals, 6 point, let's say 0 0.04, okay. Minus 3. So that is what we get. Now, we have a value of 0 0.52 as the k value. What is the time period for this? Now the time period t is going to be 2 pi divided by 0 0.52. Correct? And quarter of this will be 
2 pi divided by 4 times 0 0.52. So we are interested in this value. So let's calculate this value. So we have 2 times pi divided by 4 times 0.52 within brackets is equal to 3.02. Do you see that? So that becomes the quarter of the cycle for this particular wave. And therefore, as a cosine function, how can I write it? I can write this as amplitude remaining same cos of 0 0.52 x minus 6.04 minus 3.02. Do you get it? Minus 3, of course, correct? So that gives you 7 cos 0 0.52 and how much this is? This is x minus 9.04 minus 3. Correct? So that is how you could get the sine wave into a cosine wave. So the strategy here is this. Perfect? Quarter of the cycle should be taken away to write sine wave as a cosine wave. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.